Hello everyone. In this lecture, uh, we will be discussing the global data flow analysis. In fact, this lecture is the continuation of uh, the previous lecture, wherein we have uh, discussed uh, the basic details about the global data flow analysis and uh, we have created a need of a global data flow analysis. So the global data flow analysis is basically done for the, for the code optimization purpose and uh, uh, we will be finding out uh, uh, the various basic blocks and uh, for the purpose of the uh, constant propagation and the dead code elimination, the global data flow analysis is going to help us a lot. Now the global data flow analysis collects the information about the entire program and distribute it to each block in the flow graph. So data flow, data flow can be collected in various blocks by setting up and solving a system of the equation. A typical data flow equation is given as out of s is equals to in of s, difference scale of s, union generate of s. So uh, s here is actually considered as the block and uh, the out, in, kill, and generate are the uh, matrix or you can say that these are actually the set values uh, which is uh, giving you the statement number. Uh, and uh, dependency of uh, all these will be giving us some information about uh, the uh, program and uh, the, all these information which is being collected from uh, this matrix again and again we'll be finding out the values of out and in and uh, accordingly we will be uh, setting up at some time and we'll say that we have already found uh, the global we have already done with the global data flow analysis so what are these values of out uh, in kill and generate Let's take an example to understand this. Now there is uh, a control flow uh, graph given on the right hand side. And here uh, the rectangles are representing the basic blocks and the control flow is represented with the help of the edges. Uh, these are the directed edges. Uh, a total of five blocks are there, uh, numbered as B1, B2, B3, B4 and B5. Inside B1 there are two statements which are numbered as 1 and 2. Inside B2 we have uh, one statement that is numbered as 3. Similarly in B3 we have one statement numbered as 4. In B4 we have one statement numbered as 5. And in B5 we have one statement which is numbered as 6. So <coughs> the left hand side matrix is showing you uh, how can we find out the generate, generator kill in and out. Uh, in the B1 block uh, the variables A and B actually has been created. So B1 block is generating the variable A and B. So hence in the set of the generator for the B1, it is 1 and 2. <coughs> so here we are going to look at the uh, look at the generator column only. The B2 is creating variable A. So variable A is equals to 1 is the value set here in the B2 block, which is a statement number 3. So statement number 3 is the generator of uh, this B2 block. Similarly, the statement number 4 is the generator of B3. The statement number 5 is the generator of uh, B4 block. And the statement number 6 is the generator of B5 block. Let us look at the kill column. Uh, kill means, uh, let's say, we are referring to the B1 block, which is uh, setting up some value of A and B here. So A is set as 2 and B is set as A plus 1. In uh, B2 block, the value set by A has now been changed to 1. Okay. Similarly, in the B5 block, the value which was set as 1 has now been updated as A equals to A plus 2. So whatever value was set by the B1 block uh, in the statement number 1 has now been changed by the statement number 3 and statement number 6. Okay. Similarly, the uh, statement number 2 is setting up some value of B, which is getting changed in the statement number 4 and statement number 5 of the block number B3 and B4 respectively. So statement number 3 and 6 are changing the value of A. Statement number 4 and 5 are changing the value of B. So the kill values of for the B1 block will be 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay. So whatever value was set by the B1 block in the form of A and B has now been changed by these statements. Similarly, the B2 block is uh, setting up the value of A as 1. And this value of A which was set as 1 here is getting changed by statement number 1 in the B1 block and statement number 6 of B5 block. Okay, So the 1 and 6 is the kill value for B2 block. In B3 block, 
the value of these uh, get uh, value of b is getting set as p equals to b plus one and what are the statements which are changing the value of b these are two and five so two and five are the uh, kill statement for b3 block similarly in the b4 block we are setting up some value of b as p equals to b minus seven this value is getting updated by statement number two in the b1 block and statement number four in the b3 block so the kill value for b4 is two and four for the b5 block it is setting up the value of a so what are the blocks which are changing the value of a those are b1 and b2 in the form of a statement number one and three so the kill value for b5 is one and three okay now uh, we are supposing that initially we are doing this, this as an initial computation so that's why what we are setting up that the input for every block is null a null is represented by the phi set okay so input of b1 is null input of b2 is null input of b3 is null b4 is null and b5 is null so the input for all these blocks have been set as phi and later we are going to compute the output value the output value it is visible that the b1 block is uh, uh, generating a and b which is which will be the output of b1 Similarly, the B3 block uh, is setting up statement number three as an output. The statement number four is the output of B3 block. Statement number five is the output of the B4 block. Statement number six is the output of B5 block. So all these values has been updated in the output column of the matrix, which is shown here. So output of B1 is one, two, B2, three, B3, four, B4, five, and B5, six. Okay. Now we will be keep updating. We will be updating these values of in and out repeatedly until we get a settlement. Okay. So now once we have uh, computed the value of uh, uh, this uh, generate kill in and out in the iteration number one, the values of the generate and the kill will uh, remain same throughout. But we need to find out the in and out repeatedly. For example, in the uh, iteration number one, the values of in and out were set. And now, with the help of the formula that we have discussed in the first slide, that was out of any block is equals to in of that block minus kill of that block, union generate of that block, we'll be updating these values repeatedly. Now, for B1 block, uh, the statement number red is showing that in the B1 block, the uh, there is no input. Okay, the diagram also shows that there is no input for the B1, so the input of B1 will be five. We will be computing the value of uh, output as output of B1 is equals to input of B1 minus kill of B1 union generate of B1. So you can see that the input of B1 is five. Difference, it is not minus, it is difference. It is a set difference. Kill is three, four, five, six. We'll be referring to uh, this iteration number one matrix for finding out the skill. Union one and two. One and two is the generator of uh, this B1 block. So uh, phi difference three four five six will be giving you the phi, and that phi union one and two will give you one and two. So one and two is the new output value of uh, this B one block. Similarly, we'll be computing the output for the B two block also. First, we compute the input of the B two. How we are computing the input of the B two? You can see with the help of the diagram that B one is giving the input to B two, and B five is also giving the input to B two. There is a there is an arrow from B one to B two. And there is an arrow from B5 to B2 as well. So uh, the input of B2 will be <coughs> output of B1 union output of B5. So this way, you find out that the uh, input output of uh, B1 is one and two, and output of B5 is six. We can find out these values from the iteration one output matrix. And once uh, doing it the union, we are finding that one, two, and six are the input to B2. Okay, so the input to B2 has been updated by 126. Now we'll be computing the output of B2. So output of B2 is computed as the formula: input of B2 minus scale of B2 union generate of B2. So our input of B2 is 126. Scale of uh, B2 is 1 and 6. So once you do the difference of these two, 1 and 6 will uh, disappear and will will remain with this two. And two union three will be giving us two and three, so output of B two is two and three. The new updated value of output of B two is two and three. Now let us uh, say see the B three. The input to the B three block is from B two. 
because b2 to b3 there is an edge okay so uh, input to b3 is actually the output of b2 and what was the output of b2 that was 3 okay so uh, the uh, input of b3 has now become the output of b2 that is 3 now we'll be computing the output of b3 with the help of the formula so output of b3 is equals to input of b3 minus scale of b3 union generator of b3 so input of b3 is 3 scale of b3 with the help of this matrix you can find out that is 2 and 5 the difference of 3 and 2 and 5 will be 3 that is union with the generator 4 will give you the answer 3 and 4 okay so output of b3 has been set as 3 and 4 here similarly we will compute the input for the b4 you can see that the input of the b4 is from the b3 so whatever is the output of b3 is the input of b4 you first see the diagram there is an edge from b3 to b4 it means whatever is the output of b3 is the input of b4 so output of b4 is equals to input of b3 b4 minus scale of b4 union generator of b4 okay so first we have computed the the input of b4 which is the output of b3 that is 4 putting up the value in this out, output of b4 is equals to input of b4 minus scale of b4 union generator of b4 so input of b4 is 4 scale of b4 is 2 and 4 with the help of this table you can find it out union generator of uh, b4 block that is 5 so 4 difference 2 and 4 will give you 5 set because uh, uh, there will be no effect of 2 here so 5 union 5 will give you 5 so 5 is the output of this b4 block at the last we are going to compute for, for the b5 b5 is getting input from b3 block and the b4 block as well you can see in the diagram there is an edge from b3 to b5 and there is an edge from b4 to b5 so the output of b3 and output of b4 when given a union we will be finding out the input of b5 so now the input of b5 is equals to output of b3 union output of b4 which will give us 4 and 5 now we are going to compute the output of b5 so output of b5 is input of b5 minus scale of b5 union generator of b5 so input of b5 is 4 and 5 difference 1 and 3 that is the scale of b5 doesn't have any effect it will remain as, uh, 4 and 5 union 6 so 4 5 6 is the output of b5 so we have found the values of input and output in, as a new one with the help of the formula and the diagram so these are the new values of uh, input and output in the iteration number 2 now uh, we have the matrix of iteration number 1 here and we have the matrix of iteration number 2 also now let us compare these two the uh, matrix of iteration number 1 and the matrix of iteration number 2 so red marked values are for the in and out because scale and generator are not going to change anyway so the input in iteration number 1 and the input of iteration number 2 are different similarly the output of the iteration number 1 and the output of iteration number three, uh, 2 are different it means we have to do these operations again to find out the new input and the output values okay we will be keep finding all these values until we have a settlement it means if in ith iteration we see some of the values of i uh, we see the input and the output values of different blocks and in the i plus first iteration we are going to see the input and output values in the uh, for the different blocks and if they are same there is no change then we will stop our operation okay by the time they keep changing we will be doing the next iteration also we uh, we have seen that there is no difference uh, so there is there are some difference in the kill in and out column of iteration number one and iteration number two so we'll be computing the values of uh, in and out for uh, these blocks again as an iteration number three okay so you can see that the red no red statement first two red statements are computing the input of v1 and output of v1 input of v1 is five there is no input of v1 output of v1 is found with the help of the formula input of v1 minus scale of v1 union generator of v1 so this is giving us 5 difference 3 4 5 6 union 1 and 2 so the answer is 1 and 2 
the out the input of b2 is from uh, b1 and b5 both so output of b1 and uh, output of b5 then union will give us the input of b2 so by this way we are getting 1 2 4 5 6 as the input of the b2 then with the help of the formula we are going to compute the output of b2 which is equals to input of b2 minus scale of b2 union generator of b2 the input of uh, b2 is 1 2 4 5 6 difference 1 6 union 3 so 1 and 1 and 6 will get eliminated uh, in the difference operation we will remain with 2 4 5 when union with 3 it will give you 2 3 4 5 so the output of b2 is 2 3 4 5 and then we will be computing the input of b3 there is an f from b2 to b3 which means the output of b2 will be the input of b3 so 2 3 4 5 is the input of b3 when set up in the formula we will be getting the output of b3 is equals to input of b3 different scale of b3 union generator of b3 input of b3 is uh, 2345 different scale of b3 that is 25 union 4 that is the generator of b3 okay so 2 uh, 2 and 5 will get eliminated in the difference operation we will remain with 2 3 and 4 when union with 4 it will give us 3 and 4 so output of b3 is 3 and 4 similarly we are finding out the value of uh, input to b4 that is the output of b3 there is an f from b3 to b4 it means output of b3 will be same as the input to b4 so the input to b4 is 3 4 output of b4 with the help of the formula input of b4 minus scale of uh, b4 union generator of b4 so 3 4 is the input to b4 difference 2 4 that is the kill of b4 union 5 so 3 4 difference 2 4 will eliminate this 4 will remain with 3 in the difference operation then 3 union 5 will give us 3 5 so the output of b4 is 3 5 then we are going to compute the input to b5 we are getting the input to b5 from two ways one is from b3 another one is from b4 so the union of these two outputs will be the input to b5 so output of uh, b3 is 3 4 output of b4 is uh, 3 5 so 3 4 union 3 5 will give you 3 4 5 then you will find out this output of uh, b5 output of uh, b5 and output of b5 is equals to input of b5 minus skill of uh, b5 union generator of generator of uh, b5 so this is equals to 3 4 5 minus 3 uh, minus 1 3 union 6 so 3 4 5 minus 1 3 will give you the 4 5 when union with 6 will give you 4 5 6 so now if you compare uh, these two matrices in the iteration number 2 matrix and the iteration number 3 matrix so there is a difference in the iteration number 2 matrix and the iteration number 3 matrix in the input and output columns so we will have to compute it again so we have to compute it until the time we have no difference in the input and output column of the two different iterations so let us compute this, these values again so the left hand side table is the iteration number 3 table that we have computed in the in the, in the previous slides and the iteration number 4 is uh, the new table that we will be finding from here so with the same method we are going to find out this uh, these values of uh, input and output for the iteration number 4 okay so this, the first two red statements are showing the input and output values for b1 next two black lines are showing the input and output of uh, the uh, block b2 the next two red lines are showing the uh, input and output for uh, the block b3 we are finding the input using the flow graph and then uh, the output value is find with the help of the formula similarly the next two lines are showing the input and output values for the block b4 and finally we are going to find out the input and output for block number 5 so whatever these values have been found let us compare these two so the first matrix the above matrix is showing the input and output values found in the iteration number 3 and next is the input and output values found in the iteration number 4 
So you can see that uh, there is no difference between the iteration number three input and output values and the iteration number four input and output values. Since there is no difference, we can conclude that the input and output values are over now. And by doing this, we can now progress towards the optimization process. So the global data flow analysis is done. And uh, yes, uh, with the help of these matrices, you have understood that how do we compute the in and out values. And uh, with, with respect to the uh, examination of the various universities, this uh, computation is very, very important. Uh, you can find out one numerical questions related to this. So you can see that the values of the uh, generator and kill can be found with the help of uh, the flow diagram. And uh, the in and out values has to be found with the help of the formula and the combination of the combination with the diagram also. Okay, so flow graph obviously will help you if in finding out this in and out. And uh, the formula will also give you some insight about how to find out the output values especially. And finally, when we come to the conclusion that there is no difference between the table values of iteration number three and the table values of iteration number four, we can conclude that the global data flow analysis is done now. Thank you.